back on the good old game. Yeah, that's why I'm playing Assassin's Creed 2 again. Because it's only 21 days until Brotherhood hits the UK like a melon shot out of a can at a sheet of paper at a pane of glass. That's right, hitting, having such a massive impact, and then slowly soaking off to obscurity. Which is probably what will happen, because it's going to hit, everyone's going to buy it, and then they're going to they're going to play, play it, then they're going to get bored of it, and then they're going to go back to Brotherhood. <laughs> didn't know anything. And yeah, only armed man just going into a small booth that for some reason is up here for no apparent reason. You could have just easily had them on the ground. And yeah, I always know him. Oh, now he's standing in the chest. Okay, I'm gonna sword, okay. It says that, um, in Assassin's Creed, they said that the Brotherhood, they said that they're kind of tired of having the same old you be very defensive and then you win style. Because I quite frankly enjoy that. Well, I don't enjoy it all the time, I do go off the rails sometimes. But they, they've just generally gone, yeah, that's not a, a, amazing anymore. And they said basically you have to just like strike and do amazing combos, which I'm like, isn't that now more of a fighting game than an assassin game? Which is all about stealth and knowing what to do in certain situations. Yeah, they could have just thrown a rocket there. And here's a big thing, yeah. A big problem with Assassin's Creed 2 that I found was that if you just really went into the water, then the guard would go, He's in the water! Does anyone know how to swim here? Even though we live in Venice and 90% of the city is water. No? Oh, okay. Well, you just have to let him go. Maybe throw a couple of rocks at him. If that's about what that would actually happen, which I didn't like. My thought what should have happened is like, I don't know, the guard could go in there and the, guard, the community manager pretty much said the reason why this happened is because they have big armour. But doesn't Etia have a lot of armour? I mean like... <sighs> to jump from up this height, I could probably survive. I I just did. And that must be quite a bit of armour. Yeah, I can just go and loot a chest straight off the bat. And go. Find water. And swim around, and this armour must not be light. Grand Vip Gondola. See, so yeah, anyway. <laughs> And I don't like it that they've actually kicked out this Assassin's Creed game. Because it's got an online mode, and somehow they managed to have an online mode. And a city that's about three times the size, just about all of these cities, all of, you know, Florence, Venice, and Tuscany, all rolled into one, with extra maps as well. And they're hoping to plus an online mode, plus a proper full-length story mode. And, to me, that just doesn't sound like... There must be loads of glitches in it or something. Unless the story... Unless the story is like six hours or something really bad. I don't think it should be six hours. Because... I don't know about you, but... I don't know if it's always been, always been a very good story game. In just general, because... Silent Speed 1 took me about a week to complete, which wasn't like the time, it was like a week, and uh, that included TV and stuff like that. Assassin's Speed 2 took me all the weekend, like three days. Uh, yeah, anyway. So, 
I hope this one isn't just like five hours or something, because that's what it's called a few years, and that, that isn't really that. And that, it's fun to play, it's really a big, it's like, it's like pouring petrol on a bonfire. You never have a bonfire that's a bit hard to, that's, when it's lit, it'll burn mediocre, and you'll just generally, me, you know, it'll burn okay, it'll be quite nice, you'll get a nice smell out of it, whatever. And then, the, then it'll go out after, you know, it might go out after 12 hours, you know, it'll go out. It'll take a while to go out, or you can just basically pour petrol on it, which is what Call of Duty does, they just basically pour pe petrol on their bonfire all the time, and say, here's an online mode, which is really addictive, which pretty much gets them out of anything, even though, yeah, well, you know what I mean. Hey, good luck. I actually found out, I mean the guards they're actually, he when you're running they're here, but when you're walking they don't hear you, which I found a bit weird. That's fail. When you want to be fast, you don't want to exactly go up to people and make an enemy of them. I think I'm going to be shouted out for looting the sky. Yeah, they noticed me. I just half my workload and... I didn't like this game, because it was really only like... Like, I was wait there like that, and, you know, I'd have to end up slowly finishing them off. So... Well, going on to a new topic now, um, Xbox 360 Connect, that's coming out soonish. Don't really know where, don't really care, I'm gonna buy it. Okay, we're well, gonna have to start. Oh, what was it? No, Xbox 360 Connect. It's 150 quid. Simple as. And, It gives you a pretty good, sorry, that's my laptop charger, it's really bad and it gives me electric shocks. Damn you, HP. Anyway, yeah, it's kind of, it's, the Xbox, I, quite frankly, is, it's got all the um, over 18, hard, hardcore-ish gamers, apart from a couple of 12 year olds. No, I mean, nine year olds, you know, Mom, I want some chocolate! Um, you know, it's got all the Gears of Wars, the Halos, the... So you know, and yeah, bring up the Connect, which has on it about which has on it only family games. You have Connect Animals, Connect Adventures, Connect Sports, and Connect Free Ride, which is a kart racing game. Now I don't, and you know that doesn't seem good when you have to say, get the war, take the something from the face, and I watch him bleed. And I don't know. It's just gonna be. It, I don't know about you, but it's just to me. It seems like it's gonna be a flop. I mean, I have the PlayStation Move. I I've enjoyed the PlayStation Move. It needs a bit more games on it. Like the shoot won't be a very good game, I, and I know that because I played it in the shop and I just didn't enjoy it at all. And they're demoing it. And. Oh, that would be so painful. They already have more very painful combos than Silver has. But what was this? No minutes, that's okay. Anyway. Oh, yeah, I forgot to be. The only reason I kill these is because it's one, it's fun, two, because it's something to do in a game that it's stale quite fast. And three because money's and I didn't lose the guy. There we are. No, but every time you have a successful mission where you kill one of these guys, you'll get basically the game will try and spawn another war, another random event as soon as it can. Don't ask me why. It's just there. I hope it also in Bloodhound you can kill as many civilians as you want without getting shouted without 
having to reload. Because I never like that. And I'm not sure about you, but killing people is rather well, quite fun in games. Like, not in real life, of course. Come back. You know, just in games. I'm sorry that I can't climb out here. This game is so annoying. Pistol, I like pistol. I'm not too bright, am I? You're, you're the guy who's just been stabbed in the throat and are now bleeding to death slowly on the floor. <laughs> I will be doing reviews on Call of Duty Black Ops, which I will be getting and Brotherhood. So if you want to know how good they are and whether buying them is actually a good idea, consult this channel because I'm not like IGN who gives it a more like whether it had any bugs than whether it's actually fun because Smackdown vs. Raw 2010 doesn't have any bugs well it does actually, well it has some minor ones but it's not very fun at all like you know uh, the, it's just so infuriating like sometimes you'll just be like, you'll be like oh no this other guy's pinning this other guy and you're now going to fail and die if you do not do it and if you do not break up the pin so I'll go over there and be like I'd like press the button to break up the pin and you know what I'll do? It will not let me do it. It will very much say, oh you're kicking the referee, oh you're, oh, no, you're disqualified, you've lost anyway. And I was just trying to break up the pin. I had gondolas back, they were so fun. What was I going to say? No, sounds we um, Black Ops. Uh, that's a weird game. 